Tom and the whole Rousey family, thank you so much. Well, after a violent weekend, leaders in D.C. and Prince George's County are teaming up to figure out a path forward. Multiple shootings, two of them deadly, have police and elected officials searching for solutions. 7 News reporter Rebecca Turco is joining us live from county government headquarters there in Largo. And Rebecca, the council chair, helped organize an anti-crime walk today. But they've got a little more confidence these days, right? And that's because the real time crime center over in DC, I'm told it's been making such an impact already that it has been so helpful, especially with the ongoing issue of crime crossing the border. After a violent weekend in DC and Prince George's County, police and local leaders are coming together to hit the streets of Capitol Heights, an area bordering DC and Maryland. We know that a lot of the culprits will jump across the border, uh, just trying not to get caught. So we, uh, DC is one of our greatest partners that we have trying to fight crime in this area. Prince George's County's council chair and residents took police from both jurisdictions on an anti-crime walk, pointing out areas that could use more attention from blighted areas to streets that could use better lighting to help deter crime. We really need to refocus attention on this area and on these issues and see if we can find new ways to work together. Our community has been through this a lot. Donnie Joyner with the Chapel Oaks Community Association wants to see action taken. We just want to make sure that the neighborhood is safe for our families as well as to just improve the quality of life for people. Communication is key between the agencies. On the district's end, we're told the real-time crime center is making an impact. So the real-time crime center is, if I can say, it's worth its weight in gold. Commander John Hickman says it's improving the information flow, not just with MPD, but with neighboring agencies. He tells us crossing state lines won't do criminals any good. We want them not to commit crime, but they do commit crime. Just be forewarned, just seeking refuge in another jurisdiction. It's not, it's not, no, I'm free. It's, it's not, it's not any of that. And the council chair tells us she even wants to have a memorandum of understanding drafted between the police departments going forward to help further streamline this cross-border enforcement. Reporting live in Prince George's County, Rebecca Turco, 7 News. A live look at the roads from Storm Track 7 in Lee's.